Hey guys, I want to show you a little bit about what we're doing today. Today we're down here on Lake Norman, and I have with me field staff member Eric Stanberry in the back of the boat. And I want to show you what we're doing. We're down here bass fishing, and the bait I'm using is, is, is something that I use on Lake Norman a lot because it, it just works great for me. And, and it's a floating worm, okay? What I have here rigged up is I have a worm, as you can see, and that's one of the catch em up baits, uh, six inch finesse worms. And I've got it rigged up with just a hook. I come up about six inches and I've got a very small split shot. Now sometimes if the water's clear, I won't do that because the fish can see it. But I, but I need my bait to get down a little deeper, so I put a little split shot on there. But normally I don't do that. Now the reason I like a, a floating worm and what I'm doing here is because it, it provokes a strike. We've been out here for a little bit. The fish really aren't hitting very good. Eric's throwing something totally different. So what I'll do is I will throw out and make my cast and I will jerk my bait, just like you would a jerk bait. And that'll make that worm, because it has no weight, go erratic and do all different kinds of movements in the water. And that will provoke a strike in a lot of cases. Now Eric, he's doing something different back there. Yeah, Jim, what I'm using is a catch em up bait beaver bug rigged on a bullet weight um, and this one is going to the bottom and what I'm doing is when it hits I let it set for a few seconds and then a couple little taps and I work my way back to the boat so that's what I'm using and I'm, I've got it pegged with a, uh, a weight keeper and it keeps the weight tight to the bait so the, the weight's not you know bouncing up the line when I'm twitching it all right folks so we just want to do this short video here and just show you something that you can probably do to maybe help you on a day where the fish are biting really slow. And is this one of these days? So far it is, yes. And we hope we're going to change it around as the sun starts to get down. But, uh, you know, I'm only using a 10-pound test line. Eric, what do you got? About 10-pound test yeah, line? Uh, 12. Okay, 12-pound. And I'm using a spinning rod. Eric, he's using a bait cast, a rod of choice. It's really what you're comfortable with. So just remember, you know, use them techniques. If fish aren't biting that good, you need to provoke a strike. And if you do something erratic, you will provoke a strike on a largemouth bass. So just remember that next time you head out on the lake.